Spring Boot 3.1.0 is introducing wonderful support for test containers. If you are already familiar with test containers, you might have already know that we can write integration tests using test containers like this. You can define whatever the containers you need to run for running your tests and then register the properties using at dynamic property source mechanism. But in order to minimize the boilerplate, this release introduced the concept of service connections where you don't need to explicitly register the properties. You can simply annotate with add service connection and Spring Boot is going to take care of automatically registering those properties for you. Okay. And at the moment, Spring Boot is supporting those service connections for all these various uh, types of databases and messaging queues like this. Okay. In addition to that, this release is also introducing support for running your uh, application using test containers locally during development time. Earlier, we might have used uh, tools like Docker Compose and spin up all the required databases and messaging queues and then run our applications locally. But with this new feature, you can use same test containers for starting all those dependent services and then run your application. Let us take a look at how it works. So here I have created a sample Spring Boot application using version 3.1.0 snapshot. As I'm using snapshot version, whatever the features that I'm demonstrating in this video might change when it is released as GA. So I have selected the starters web, data JPA, Kafka, and also added PostgreSQL, Flyway database migration support, and also test containers. So I have test containers Kafka, test containers PostgreSQL module, as test dependencies and also I have added this availability library for testing. In order to enable that service connections and local development features, I have added this Spring Boot test containers dependency as a test dependency. So that's all the dependencies we have and let us quickly explore what is the application we have. It's a normal uh, Spring Boot application and we have a product controller with couple of API endpoints. One is to fetch all the products, another one is to create a new product. But instead of directly saving the product information into the tables, we are publishing a message with the product information to products topic. And then there is a listener which is listening onto the same products topic. And once we receive the product information, we are saving into the database. Okay, that is the application we have. So let us see how we usually test this application. So here we have a integration test with Spring Boot test and then we are using test containers annotations to initialize the containers that we need. And we usually do register our application properties using at dynamic property source uh, annotated method like this. And then we run our tests. But with this new feature, we don't have to register properties like this anymore and we can simply annotate with at service connection for both Postgres and Kafka containers. And here what we are doing, we are cleaning up the data from uh, products table and then saving one new product and we are fetching all the products information and then asserting the data. And there is another test where we are making a post API call uh, sending the data and ideally once it is consumed by the listener it should save into the database so we are using this availability library to fetch by the uh, same product code and then asserting it is there in the database so let us run this test so Basically, if you are using multiple containers like this, you usually write this method to register all the properties that you acquire from these started containers. Now, with this new feature, Spring Boot is going to take care of automatically registering all these properties by simply adding this add service connection here. So let us see. Yeah, our tests are passed. Okay, so this is one um, new feature that is introduced in Spring Boot 3.1.0. Next, let us take a look at how we can run our application locally 
uh, using test containers. So earlier we used to use tools like Docker Compose to start all the containers. In our case, we need Postgres and Kafka. But now we don't need to configure uh, Docker Compose anymore. So here what we can do, we can create a configuration class using a test configuration under SRC test Java and then define all the containers that you need as a bean, spring beans and also add, add this add service connection annotation here. So here we have registered these two beans and then we need to create a uh, application class which is kind of a very similar to how we have this main entry point class but we don't have this at spring boot application uh, annotation here and also we are going to register whatever the configurations we have created here with test containers configuration class and start the application like this. So Spring Boot is going to take care of starting all the containers that we defined over here and then automatically register them and start the application. So right now let us take a look at uh, so here I am using this portainer tool right now there are no um, containers running okay now I am going to start the application here and it will automatically spin up this Postgres and Kafka containers and automatically configure it to run this Spring Boot application. So here we can see it is leveraging test containers to spin up the Postgres and Kafka containers. Okay, so the application is started. Now let me test those endpoints. So here I am invoking the first API endpoints to fetch all the products. So right now we have these three which is initialized using uh, flyway database migrations next I am going to make this API products post call which is going to be sending a message to Kafka and then consumed from the Kafka uh, topic and then insert into the database so here this is the new product code p104 which currently is not there in the database okay now I am sending this message here and let me make a api call here and i can see the data is here so we can also use test containers for running the application locally not only for integration testing also okay so these are the two new features that are introduced in spring boot 310 and i believe this is going to be tremendously simplify the application development and also testing okay